An East Coast writer named Tom Wolfe called Big Daddy, and I quote, a surrealist in his designs, the Salvador Dali of the custom car movement. What I want to know is, what kind of car did this guy Salvador Dali ever build? sense coming up beside me is my owner, Tom Wolf. Wave to the people, Tom. Now I'm going to talk about Roth, so um, why don't you go get a cup of coffee or write a book or something? Roth was completely outside the contemporary art world, and yet when you see something like uh, the Beatnik Bandit, you know you're looking at a totally original work of art. Roth was inventing cars of a future that nobody but himself had ever even dreamed about. As if somewhere there was a surreal heaven that you would reach if you just let your imagination soar. Nowadays, the Guggenheim can mount an exhibit of custom motorcycles and everybody goes, wow, that's great. But that could not have happened without Roth. Roth created that shift. This is where art's going. And the big paintings that are sitting in the art galleries now, they've got the big price tags on them, 50,000, 100,000, you've all seen them sold. What do they really mean? They don't really mean anything. They're hanging on a wall. And they're not groovy. But if you can apply that grooviness to what's happening now, that's where it's at. In other words, if you can create a thing like this, one, and it's a piece of artwork, a piece of sculpture, and that is a piece of contemporary art. Uh -huh. 